Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss how scientists created the first map of a massive ancient underwater avalanche. In a crazy discovery, the University of Liverpool's news researchers found what led to the evolution of a gigantic underwater avalanche around 60,000 years ago and how it led to destruction. More than 300 crore samples taken from the seafloor of the Atlantic Ocean off the northwest coast of Africa more than 40 years ago were used by the team. The scientists combined the area's bathymetry and seismic data and created a map of the avalanche as it turned from a small underwater landslide into a devastating climactic event. Chris Stevenson, who is co-leader of the team and a sedimentologist from the University of Liverpool School of Environmental Sciences, has said, this is the first time anyone has managed to map out an entire individual underwater avalanche of this size and calculate its growth factor. What is so interesting is how the event grew from a relatively small start into a huge and devastating submarine avalanche, further explaining, reaching heights of 200 meters as it moved at a speed of about 49 feet per second, ripping out the seafloor and tearing everything out in its way. The ancient underwater avalanche, which has been mapped by scientists, started at only 1.5 cubic kilometers in volume, but later it turned massive and became a huge and powerful avalanche that eventually eroded one of the largest submarine canyons in the world, which was known as the Agadir Canyon, along with almost 4,500 square kilometers of the canyon walls. Stevenson said, To put it in perspective, that's an avalanche the size of a skyscraper, moving at more than 64 km per hour from Liverpool to London, which digs out a trench 30 m or 98 feet deep and 15 km wide, destroying everything in its path. He added, Then it spreads across an area larger than the UK, burying it under about a meter of sand and mud. Speaking about the study, the head of marine geophysics at Kiel University, Sebastian Krastel, said, Our new insight fundamentally challenges how we view these events. He also added, Before this study, we thought that big avalanches only came from big slope failures. But now we know that they can start small and grow into extremely powerful and extensive giant events. The scientists noted, that the prehistoric avalanche grew by around 12 to 25 times larger than a normal avalanche. We calculate the growth factor to be at least 100, said Christoph Botner, who is the co-leader of the team and a Marie Curie research fellow at Aarhus University in Denmark. We have also seen this extreme growth in smaller submarine avalanches measured elsewhere, said Botner. So we think this might be a specific behavior associated with underwater avalanches and is something we plan to investigate further, he added. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.